sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision, and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign, and she boring love the way you What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Torch Drift to do something uh, pretty fun today. Over two and a half million sessions played here on this game. It's definitely a game that's uh, moving up in the world for sure. So, if you guys have not followed me on the hub, if you guys check me out on the hub, give me a follow. If you guys would like, um, I'm probably going to go through and start following everybody back. We could start doing that right now. So, if you guys want to follow me on the hub, I will make sure that I uh, shoot you guys a follow back. Because they, uh, oh, they make this super easy to do it like this. And uh, we can just sit here and follow everybody. So if you guys have not guessed what today's episode is about, we're going to get out of the hub. It is all about FD cars. So I got a chance to drive some FD cars in the beta, but didn't really get a chance to tandem with them. So today, before we get fully into this episode, I would like to thank the game developers of Torque Drift for making this episode possible. A big thank you to them for hooking me up with some cash. And, uh, some FD cars here in the garage. Our garage is pretty much stacked now with uh, some really awesome cars. So today we're going to get into some of the FD cars. See how they feel in the new game physics versus how I use them in the beta. We got the 370Z. Then of course we have Rad Amber Cat Supra, which I'm super excited to get behind the, the wheel of. El Condale, his S14 and that Rain X paint, as well as Mad Mike with that's car, which I've driven before. So we got three new FD cars in our lineup today that we are going to get behind the wheel and uh, drive them, get a little tandems with them, try and uh, see what we can do with this. So once again, a big thank you to the game developers of Torque Drift for uh, allowing this video to happen with hooking me up with some of the FD cars. So we're going to go see what tracks we can actually get into today and uh, see how we can do. So we got uh, Desert Palms, Skyline, and Cali Banks Speedway. So we're just gonna go right for Cali Banks and we're gonna be uh, basically taking all these cars for a rip. So we're probably gonna start with our Pro 2 um, 370Z and uh, we're going to uh, throw this up against the wall and see how this does. So like I said, I did get a chance to drive some of these cars um, in the beta, but the physics are uh, way better now in the actual game and uh, didn't get a chance to really do tandems with these cars in beta because not many people had them. So, and I actually only had, I think, the Honadale car. I could only test drive them, so I couldn't really get tandems with them in the beta. So now we are here in the full game. Where we can actually get some uh, legit tandems going. So we're going to try this car in third gear on the wall. Kick it in a little bit too much. So we're going to throw that back, a little clutch kick this uh if I wouldn't have gone off the gas, it probably would have been a very stable run on the wall. So the Las Vegas Drift Pro 2 car um, handles pretty good, and we are still going to have a higher lead. So it handles good um, for the power band and everything it is. So we're definitely going to give it a few tries here, and then we will switch up to other cars. But super excited to have some uh, FD cars in the mix. Especially that red damn briquette. We got somebody following us on Instagram. And uh, that totally messed up my line. <laughs> Big thank you for the follow, but kind of messed up my drifting. I'm playing Torch Drift, guys. What the heck? So, 370Z is probably a car that's meant for um, lower, uh, lower power uh, courses that we could, uh, you know, use uh, not as high speed drifting. So, we're going to switch it up to. Um, one of the other tracks with this car and then I just went airborne and we will give this car a shot at another track so definitely a good uh, good lineup of cars now since uh, we have some uh, pro cars so we're gonna go to Ocean Drive Desert Palm give Desert Palm a try it's uh it's worth a lot of money so we can continue to give money because uh, if you guys notice there's a bunch of sponsor crates sitting in the uh, garage because that is uh, I will be doing an MX-5 sponsor crate build and that's why I'm stacking up those sponsor crates to try to get as many as we can so we're gonna kick this in I'm surprised we didn't lose our points there so oh I'm in the wrong gear that's what I did wrong get wrecked 
Get wrecked on myself. So this car is very floaty. It's uh it's very good handling. It's just it's it feels like it's very floaty, which is nice for nice sweeping drifts. Um, if I didn't go into fourth gear by mistake, I probably would have done a lot better. So now we're gonna see if we can't actually do a good chase with this car. Then we'll probably switch up to another car. So if you guys have any of the pro cars, let me know in the comment section down below which pro car you got. And uh, do you like do you like using it or do you like using your own built car? I feel like I probably should be shifting up to fourth, but then I feel like I will lose all my power in this car. That's not what I want to do. That was a hard break. I didn't get on the brakes fast enough. So, another thing I want to not let you guys know, tonight I will be doing live tandem battles here on the channel. So if you guys want to be a part of some live tandem battles, we will be doing... Whoa! Got a message on Instagram. I'll have to check that out later. So shout out to you. So we are going to be doing live tandem battles tonight on the channel. We'll be bringing out the 46, probably the S14, some of the pro cars. And we will uh, be having a lot of fun with uh, you guys and doing some live tandem battles. See who uh, comes on in. So if you guys want to get live tandem battles here on the channel, make sure you guys come back tonight. 7 p.m. Easter time, roughly like every other stream that I've done on a Wednesday. So I feel like it's time to bring out that... Uh, thousand horsepower Rad's Amber Cat Supra here at Hak Hakone Skyline and I don't want to say that wrong because people will uh, comment that I said it wrong and I do appreciate it being corrected so we're going to see if we can't get a solid run in the Supra because this is a car that I've been very eager to try and drive in tandems and it's actually handling very well whole I thought we were going to wreck the car first go out. It handles very well. It's actually very grippy and kind of precise where I want. Feather the throttle a little bit. Feather a little bit there. All right. So I think I found my new favorite pro car. <laughs> Red Amber Cat Supra. Uh, handles pretty good on the Skyline. So we'll see if uh, what kind of chase run we're going to get a chance to do. Pretty decent lead run by him. Tandems with randoms. That's all Torque Drift is about right now. All the tandems with all the randoms. And uh, welcome to Torque Drift. So we're going to see if we can't maybe bang on his door a little bit without smacking into him too hard. I don't really want to bang bang on his door, but uh, we can do a nice little little door dive session right there. A little transition. Oh, I should have tapped the brakes, otherwise that was a beautiful transition. That was probably one of the best transitions you could have right there. I mean, it probably could have been better, but that was uh, a very, very nice transition. I do say so myself and you got disqualified that's unfortunate I'm sorry I don't know what happens a lot of people getting disqualified I don't know if they're quitting because they're having a bad chase but uh it seems to be happening a lot recently so we're gonna give it another shot here on the skyline and it looks like oh we got a uh, pretty interesting uh, e30 right there Carter or charter thousand horsepower e30 pro and uh this should be a very good run for the supra so we're definitely going to uh have to make a very solid lead we're gonna do a little uh faint initiation in see as close as we can on there getting as many close call points as we can a little feather of the throttle a little bit on the e-brake running this as much as we can as long as we don't Smack the wall, fast throttle there, so we don't smack into the wall. I probably wanted to get way further out on that wall. 44,000 plus our clean lead multiplier will give us 76. Not a uh, super amazing run, but a very even run for Charter. So now we are going to have to throw down a good tandem. So now is a chance to see how we can tandem in this Rad Amber Cat Toyota Supra. It's kind of cool to have Rad Dan's car because... You can't buy a Supra in the game right now, so you can't actually... So unless you have Rad Dan's car, you cannot have a Supra. And I just totally lost that first turn initiation, so now we gotta catch up. We got some catch up to play. And I feel like it's skating a little bit more than I wanted to. I'm trying to overdrive the car. 
biggest tip I can think for chasing. Don't try and overdrive the car. Don't try and catch up as much as you can. Run your line and try and just keep it clean because I started overdriving the car, trying to accelerate too hard and kind of put me off track. So right now, this is probably my favorite pro car because <laughs> it handles so smoothly. We still did take the win, but barely. Is it gonna give us a rematch? I'll go one I'll go one more. One more time. Do a little one more time battle against him. Oh, he left. Alright. Well, I guess we will switch it up. Probably we're gonna go back to Cali, switch up to Alec Hollandale's S14, which is probably one of my favorite um favorite cars. His uh his S14 is uh really awesome and his new S14 is even better. So personal preference s14 s13s are probably my favorite you know drift cars well new built drift cars favorite chassis s chassis for life is kind of my my saying when it comes to drift cars but uh brz's are kind of grown on me so are you know toyota sixes and frs's so now we are going to be throwing in 1141 horsepower of supercharged muscle in the huddy racing S14. Not sure what gear I need to be in. It's probably fourth. We're going to go with fourth. We're going to flick it in and try and set ourselves up on the wall. So these pro cars handle so much better in this being the full release game. They were a bit a bit wonky in uh, I would say in the beta. And I'm not sure if it was just me, but they seem to be handling a lot better. Maybe it's just I've been grown used to this, but these are uh, definitely fun cars, and we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to nail down a very solid chase because he did best our lead run. So we're gonna have to try and uh, throw it on a solid chase, which that is not gonna be how we do that because we initiated a little bit low. So not gonna be. Oh, I guess we will take the win. He must have uh, had an incident on his chase, so we're going to give him one more shot. It'll give us another chance to get a better uh, better chase as well in Al Connerdale's car. So, gearing is one thing I'm going to have to get used to on these cars. As well as... Oh, that's, that's the cheater line. I don't like that line. But after that, the car kind of... Where you plant it, it sticks. You can feather the throttle a little bit. Use the lead brake, a little left foot brake if you need to to get back. But it kind of kind of plants where you put it. Oh, he left. Alrighty then. Maybe they're uh, scared to go against pro cars. I mean, probably gonna bring these out in the live stream. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys will be okay running some uh, some pro cars, some FD cars. Once again, a big thank you to Torque Drift developers for allowing this video to happen and uh, hooking me up with these uh, some of these FD cars. I'm gonna take Hal Condale's car to. Hakon. We're going to take Alec Hollandale's car to Hakon. And we're going to, uh, Hakone, sorry, pronunciation. And we're going to try and, uh, lay down a solid lead and chase in the S14. There we go. So I still think my favorite car thus far that I have is the, uh, Toyota Supra. I think the handling on that one is probably my favorite so far. I do like Mad Mike's car, but that thing is just... I think it's a monster. It's definitely a very interesting car to drive with the short wheelbase. So we definitely did not get a good lead. So hopefully uh, we can get a uh, very comparable lead. Not too high above us. We can maybe throw it on a solid chase and take another win. Definitely gonna throw our best in this. Put our best foot forward. And see what we can come up with. Uh, trying to not smack the wall. Trying to give him enough space to transition. Not sure what is really going on right there. But we are doing our best. That is not our best. Has not our best to uh, smack right into him. So these cars definitely take a little bit of getting used to, but you know we will be able to get a rematch. Hopefully, we will be able to get 
better handled and acclimated with these cars. The more and more we drive them. And uh, he left. Okay. They don't want to drive. Been noticing a lot of people leaving and not doing rematches, but you know, that's just personal preference. I personally would, if it's a really close match, would like to definitely do a rematch and, you know, do two out of three and stuff like that. So, we're going to go back to Ocean Drives. We're going to take Alcon in this car out again. So, so far, out of the three that I've done today, Rad's Amber Cat, his Supra, is probably still my favorite handling one thus far. Um, this one handles just as good, but I feel like the Supra handles a little bit nicer for my personal driving style. Somebody's other driving styles may be different. So, we are going to be... Uh, Seeing who we're going against here. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. We got Joey, Drift King, level one, in his 690 horsepower E30. So we got to try and uh, not smack the jersey barriers off the get go like we have every single time. Well, I had a feather of the gas there, did not want to smack that. So this is a. Uh, Oh, and so I, I was about to say, this is a decent run until right there. And, uh, well, hopefully it's enough. I don't think it's going to be enough. So, like I said, if you guys have some FD Pro cars, let me know in the comment section down below which one's your favorite, which one do you use. Do you use them? Do you not like them? Because, uh, personally, um, I'm starting to grow attached to these cars. These cars are uh, definitely, well, they're fine-tuned for drifting purposes so it's very amazing to see these and as well as Honedale's S14 is probably my favorite S14 in Horizon and Forza Motorsport 7 so it's becoming close to one of my favorite cars here too I am surprised we did not lose all of our points there I tried to get too greedy too much in the sauce and uh oh my well, uh, <laughs> I think we're going to end it on that. That was a hard hit right in the driver's door. So, <laughs> and we did take the lose, too. Well, it just goes to show you. When you think you won, doesn't mean you did. My, uh, my chase probably needed to be better. So let's see what his chase looked like. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitch and Twitter, all of which found in the description box below. No oh, door banging, that's how. It's always like, thank you guys for coming back and watching. <laughs> I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. And once again, big thank you to Torque Drift Game Devs for making this video possible. I will see you guys next time. Oh, I want something.